Good Friday afternoon, and thanks for logging on to your Aggie Land Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Natalie Ferrari. We're just now coming down from a few spotty showers that were moving on through the Brazos Valley, most of which started off in the west and continue to push their way off to the east, gradually dissipating as they do move along. This is actually one of our uh, pinpoint radar imagery showing you just some of those scattered showers that are moving through, but some of those lighter blue colors are actually what's struggling to reach the ground. So again, that what's actually reaching the ground has slowly diminished and if anything still keeping things mostly cloudy out there maybe an occasional mist or drizzle still sticking around for a few of us whereas out to the east could again just see a very brief shower some of the more heavier rain more and more moderate rain moving right now through portions of Harris County currently temperatures though warming on up many of us in the upper 70s to the lower 80s out there with plenty of winds coming in out of the south southeast about 5 to 15 miles per hour wouldn't be surprised if we do pick up a little bit more of a breeze later today there is sub subtropical storm on a kind of brewing out there in the Atlantic. It has prompted tropical storm watches for the majority of the South Carolina coast as well as portions of the North Carolina coast, something that will be impacting those states as we make our way towards the weekend. So definitely want to monitor that storm if you do have any family out there or if you do happen to have any immediately uh, immediate travel plans out that direction. Here at home though, we are dealing with just again cloudy skies and a few spotty showers. We will be tracking for the potential though of maybe a few isolated thunderstorms storms to build out from the west later today or into the evening hours. So let's play through your pinpoint forecast for you where it keeps things mostly cloudy and still wants to bring through the occasional spot shower or two and then we make our way towards the evening hours just around sunset and points after that we'll start to notice possibly a few isolated thunderstorms out from the west. Now again this is a possible chance because some models have been wanting to bring a broken line of again those isolated storms while other models kind of keep that chance low or keep the thunderstorm activity just north of us. This model in particular it tries to bring a very broken line from the west to the east, but with the rain diminishing as it does continue to push its way towards the east. So just don't be surprised if you do happen to hear a couple rumbles of thunder as we make our way towards the evening hours, mostly cloudy skies, and possibly a few lingering showers hanging around overnight into your Saturday morning. So we're not quite letting go of the rain chances just yet, even keeping a 30% chance of rain into your Saturday forecast. 86 degrees will be that daytime high for today. The clouds are going to try to tamper with that and may struggle to get just that close. Some folks may range anywhere from 84 to 86 degrees with that cloud cover, but still we have been able to warm things up out there despite all those clouds thanks to breezy winds. Plenty of moisture to work with over the next couple of days and the next big day that we're going to be watching is your Mother's Day forecast. For the most part I think you'll still be able to take advantage of your morning and early afternoon plans. What we're going to be watching for is the late afternoon into the evening hours for possibly some isolated thunderstorms to start to build in and align from the northwest and gradually filter its way towards the Brazos Valley. Some models are showing that those storms could arrive as early as again the late afternoon the evening hours. Others are bringing in towards the late evening hours on Sunday into the possibly overnight Monday morning. So that's what we're really going to be watching out for over the next couple of days is the exact timing of that. For the majority of your Mother's Day forecast you'll still be able to take advantage of your plans but you'll definitely want to just stay tuned to the weather as you make your way towards the second half of your Mother's Day weekend. Thanks again for logging on.